What's up guys? It's Wally. Today we're going to be doing some battles with the Life Orb Solgaleo. Now this is a Pokemon I'm really looking forward to using because it's one that I used to use a lot back in Sword and Shield. And that was a lot of fun too because we used to have the weakness policy on it along with the Pokemon that had Bulldoze. That way you'd be able to proc it and also be able to hit both of the opponents across the way and lower their speed, while also Solgaleo not taking the speed drop because of its ability Full Metal Body, which prevents any kind of uh, stat drop that a Pokemon can give to you. And that was great because then Solgaleo, which isn't necessarily the fastest Pokemon, but has some pretty good speed, would then potentially be able to outspeed the Pokemon on the other side, be able to hit them with the Sunsteel Strike, Psychic Fangs, or another move like that. Now, obviously, that's not the case on this team, and that is mostly due to the fact that we don't have Dynamax anymore, and we don't have a way to be able to double our HP to be able to take less damage from the Bulldoze. So, again, part of the reason why we don't have that, but having a Life Orb on Solgaleo obviously gives you that 30% boost to your uh, damage that you end up inflicting, and also with a Pokemon like Screamtail out there with Howl, you're going to be able to get the plus one every time it goes out there and uses it, and because of the full metal body, there's not going to be a way to be able to take it away from you. Now, if they do have Weezing and they do have a way to be able to take away your ability, then yeah, they would have a way to be able to do that. However, that is typically found on more of a niche team, so I don't think that that's necessarily something you have to worry about a ton. And trust me, you definitely want to keep those boosts because Solgaleo has a base 137 attack stat and that's really huge. I mean I know we've recently used uh, the Black Kieran which has a base 170 which is absolutely insane but 137 is still extremely strong. I mean there are a lot of Pokemon that don't even get up close to that attack stat so even just staying in neutral you're going to be doing a lot of damage but again if you have Screamtail out there and you're able to go with the Howl to move uh, Solgaleo's attack up by one or two stages It'll be nice because that Sunsteel Strike, which is a move that actually ignores the abilities of any Pokemon, so anything that might uh, end up, you know, maybe uh, stopping, like, damage from the get-go, like something like Multiscale, where it ends up having the damage when it's at full HP, you're going to completely ignore that. Uh, same thing with something like Lunala, or, you know, things that have abilities that are going to be able to stop Sunsteel Strike from hitting with its full force. You're going to be able to ignore that, and you're going to be doing normal damage. The Psychic Fang's obviously another stab move as well. It's going to hit really hard, and also takes away any screen that might be out there too. And then Stone Edge is a really great coverage move, and it's a great way to end up hitting Fire Pokemon as well as Flying Pokemon as well. Of course, we do have Protect. That way, if we end up needing to Protect to avoid a Fake Out or something like that, we can end up doing that. So again, I'm really excited to use Solgaleo. Used it a lot back in Sword Shield, so I'm excited to see what it can do in Scarlet Violet. So we'll get into some battles, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just haven't yet, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. Well, let's get into the battles. Oh man, first matchup is against Zacian. This is gonna be fun. Uh, it's gonna be a little tough against um, a Dozo, I'm sure, but we'll definitely figure this out. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. I feel like we're really gonna need Tornadus to start here. It's tough to bring Screamtail to start, despite the fact that I really like the Howls. Um... Hmm... But yeah, let's go Tornadus, and I'm actually gonna go Rillaboom as... Mm, no, maybe not. I think we're gonna go Walking Wake. We're gonna bring Rillaboom as well, and I'm gonna bring uh, Solgal. Ah, no, no, I'm not. Ah, it's a tough one. Here's here's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm j just gonna start Tornadus and Solgaleo. I'm gonna end up bringing uh, Urshifu in the back, and we're also gonna bring Rillaboom uh, as well. Good thing is that, obviously because of the ability, Solgaleo isn't going to take an Intimidate. Um, so they're pretty safe to send out their uh, first, even though they have the Hisui and Arcanine. Um, and also, just in case they bring Dozo, it's going to be really nice to be able to have Urshifu to have a uh, constant uh, critical hit. Okay, all right. This is actually... Yeah, this is actually fine. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go for our Tailwind here. And, um... I actually think I'm going to take out, uh... Yeah. Let's, uh... Let's take out Tornadus. What do you say? 
Now, even though we're not going to get like a howl or anything like that, we're still going to be uh, getting that 30% because of the life orb and also obviously super effective move as well. Um, and again, a 137 base attack. That's, that's pretty incredible. So, um, obviously not like Zekrom or, or not Zekrom, um, Black uh, Kirim, but still pretty damn good though. It's going to be good. If we hit, we end up KOing. Oh, wow. They didn't even go for a Tailwind. Let's go. Perfect. So we take them out and we're going to have speed. That's beautiful. Ooh, go and calm mine, though. All right. Um, that's okay. Let's see. This next mon is going to determine if they brought uh, Dendozo or not. Well, very clearly it does. All right. That's perfectly fine, actually. Um, you know they're going to want to keep them in, though. Um... Gonna be really tough. Um, I think I'm gonna go straight into uh, Rillaboom. I'm gonna go Psychic Fangs over there. That way, if they decide to go for, like, an Earthquake, which I, I would doubt that they would do because that would be super effective against their own Mon, um, then at least we weaken it. I mean, yeah, they were going to protect anyway, so that's fine. I would imagine they're going to go Thunderclap or Thunderbolt. Oh, okay, my bad. I am way off on that, apparently. So here's what we're going to get a chance to do here. Yeah, they're going to take a little extra healing because of the, um, obviously, the terrain and the uh, uh, and the lefties. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to fake out Dendozo. And I think I'm going to just... I think I'm going to just do as much damage as I possibly can. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, I, w I wasn't 100% sure if they were going to swap out because, again, they were getting some heal back, and they also had the Calm Mind under their belt, but, yeah, makes sense. But, yeah, we we're going to fake out over there anyways. They weren't going to be able to move, and uh, at least we'll get the uh, Psychic Fangs over there, too. I mean, the only way they avoid this is if they go into a Ghost Terra, and I would doubt that they have a Ghost Terra. But we will see what that Terra's gonna be. What you gonna be? Okay. That actually works for me. That works pretty well. Fine, we're gonna get the Fake Out. We're also gonna get the Psychic Fangs. And the Flinch. I think we have one more of Tailwind, if I'm not mistaken. They're going to be able to protect through it, though. Yeah. Um, we can go into Tornadus, though, expecting them to protect. So let's do that. Let's go Sunsteel Strike. And let's see. Do they protect through the Tailwind, or do they go for a move? They go for a move. That's not great for us. That's some damn good damage, though. I like that a lot. Ooh, but a crunch! Not expecting that at all. Not expecting that, but that's okay. We're gonna get Tailwind back up, we're gonna get another Sunsteel Strike, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna be okay for a bit. Let's do that, let's do that. We'll bring them down to probably about 35 to 40 percent. I would imagine, unless we get some kind of crit here, which would be dope. But not the case. But still good damage, though. We end up taking that. 
We end up fainting, of course, to the life orb damage, so we probably should have protected, but... Damn, double edge? Oh, no. Yeah, that's definitely going to KO, but they also take um, a good amount of recoil there, too. Yeah. And because of that, because of that, the good news is we can actually go... We can go Rillaboom, we can bring out Urshifu, um... And all we have to really do is just go with a Wicked Blow. Woodhammer, but we also go with the Wicked Blow. Wicked Blow ends up picking up the KO. And then we should be able to KO, if not get them down to Sash, if they have Sash, with a Woodhammer. On terrain, neutral hit, Miracle Seed. I, I don't see the Sushi surviving. Nice. And, and a crit, too. Sorry, didn't factor that one in. Uh, but the good news here, too, is the fact that even though Rilla is pretty close to being KO'd, um, Urshifu does have the Sash, and that is still intact right now, even though the grass is now gone. But yes, we have them, unfortunately. But they are the last one that we really have to deal with here. So let's go for the high horsepower, and let's Terra into Dark. They already... Yeah, they already Terran. Hello. Uh, Terra into Dark, and let's go for the Wicked Blow. And let's finish them off right here. Hoping to finish them off right here. If not, again, we have the Sash. We're going to be fine. We're going to be able to withstand that. No matter what. And then this should end up becoming a dub. Right? Ooh, that was a close one, though. But we still go next with the high horsepower, that's perfect. And we end up picking up the KO right there. And thankfully, despite the fact that Solgaleo didn't necessarily have a good matchup with uh, Dendozo, still ended up coming out with a victory. That Sunsteel Strike on the normal Dendozo actually did a good amount of damage. And even if that is... What is, the, what is that ability? Unaware? Even if it is, still did a good amount of damage. There we go. Good game. Uh-oh. If I am not mistaken, that is the White Curum. Um... And the scary thing about that is the fact that Turbo Blaze, I believe, is a fire move, which would definitely do a lot to Solgaleo. Um, and even if that wasn't the case, they still have uh, Chiyu as well, so that's not great. And they also have a Wide Guard Pokemon, which doesn't really affect Solgaleo at all, but still, not, not, not great. Um, so here's what we're going to end up doing to start... So I think we're going to go Tornadus with Walking Wake, which I know might not be the smartest thing, only because um, if they end up having Freeze Dry for some reason on uh, Ninetales, that would be pretty bad. But we're not going to think about that. So let's go with those two. Let's bring Solgaleo, of course, and let's finish it with... Oh. That's tough. I I hate to say it, but I think it's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be Urshifu. Don't worry, for the last battle we're definitely bringing uh uh Screamtail and we're definitely doing the howl stuff because again, we are not going to be able to lose any of our howl boosts because of the uh, the ability. The only thing that would take that away would be if Weezing was out there and they ended up going with like an ability shield and Cineroar, but hey, that's that's niche. So let's go. What are we going to start? Nine tails and top. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that ain't going to matter too much, though, thankfully. So here's what we're going to do to start, is we're going to go for the Rain Dance. And let's go for the Hydro Steam into Ninetales, even though we might get faked out right here. Which, again, would not be ideal. Perfect, because that means we're still going to be able to change the weather because of the Covert Cloak. And then if they go for the Aurora Veil... Which we go first. Good damage. So if they go for the Aurora Veil, 
which they don't. They go for the Blizzard. We lose Tornadus, but at the very least, um, that's not going to be a guaranteed hit because they don't have the weather out there. So let's go Sogaleo on this one. They're going to have to probably swap out here. So here's what we're going to end up doing. Let's think about who they're going to swap into, you know? It's very possible that they end up bringing in, um... They end up bringing in Kyurem. But if they have Chi Yu... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for the Psychic Fangs over into Hitmon Top, and we are gonna go for the Hydro Steam over into Ninetales, expecting them to swap out. If this is Chiyu, this is a good swap. If it's Kiram, it's bad. Let's go. Perfect, then. That is exactly what we're looking for. Because we're going to be able to get the Hydro Steam we should KO. Their Sash. That is not great. That'll be okay, though. That'll be okay. We're going to get the Psychic Fangs. That'll take them out. That's perfect. And now they're going to be able to swap weather again, unfortunately. Alright. Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah, they're going to bring in Ninetales, obviously. They're going to be able to get a uh, uh, an Aurora Veil up, probably. Um... I think we're going to protect on this first one. And let's go with the Hydro... Let's go with the Flamethrower into Ninetales. And let's see if we can knock him out. Perfect. That's huge. That allows us to protect. We'll be able to get the Flamethrower over there and KO before they're able to put up the Aurora Veil. And now we're going to have it two on two. Well, I guess three on two. Because we still have one more Mon in the back. So we'll have it three on two against a one HP Chiyu and a big ass Kyurem. So here's what we're going to do. I have a feeling they're going to go for a fire move. But I also have a feeling they're going to terrestrialize Kyurem too. Um. We're going to terrestrialize into Dark just in case they go for, like, a Dark Pulse over to us. Let's see. Let me think what Kyurem could potentially be. Because, let's see. They're Ice and... Um, ice and Dragon. So they would want to find a way to avoid the steal. They do have the Fire move. I feel like Kyurem might be a Fire. This is... Okay, this might be stupid and extremely risky. But I'm going to assume that they're fire. And let's go... Mm, let's go for the Stone Edge up in the Kyurem. That way, if they end up terrestrializing, then at the very least... Um, or if they don't terrestrialize, at the very least, we'll still have a super effective move. But here we go. And then we're also going to end up going for the Snarl. That way, it hits both. And because Chiyu does only have one HP, we'll knock it out. And we'll also lower the special attack of Kyurem as well. So I don't think that's a bad idea. Now, if they go for the... Uh... Okay, that's unfortunate. That's okay. The good thing here is we should be able to knock out Chi Yu. Oh, we do, and we do outspeed it, too. We do hit, thankfully. And we're going to be good to go now. That is a tiny crown on Solgaleo. That, that looks like they gave him the wrong size. All right, so now that they protected and it's only a two-on-one, or I guess three-on-one because we still have Urshifu, um, what we're going to do, we're going to go for the Sunsteel Strike this time. Uh, we're going to go for that super effective move, but to cover for them potentially terrestrializing into fire or something like that, we're also going to go for the Hydro Steam over there as well. Here's that Terra. Now we get a chance to see what it is. What you're going to be... Oh, they're dragon. Son of a gun. That's okay. You know what? 
Uh, assuming we survive, we're going to be able to go for a... Um, yeah, that's not going to do much. Uh, we're going to be able to go for a Draco Meteor over there. And we're going to outspeed. Nope. Freeze. Thank you. Sunskill Strike is going to do about half of its max. A little more than half. I like that a lot. Let's go, Solgaleo. So let's do that. Let's finish with one more Sunsteel Strike. And let's go with a Draco Meteor. And let's call that a game right there. That is some really good power. And again, I shouldn't be surprised. 137 base attack with the Life Orb. It makes a lot of sense. But either way, it's still really nice to see that amount of damage. Good game. Ah, Sogaleo, meet Duskmane. Duskmane, Sogaleo, nice to meet you. Looks like they might be weakness policy. And to be completely honest with you, that's something I was thinking about doing myself. Um, but I did not want to live in the Sword Shield era. I wanted to, you know, I don't want to say modernize it, but, you know, bring us into Scarlet Violet and actually go with a different kind of set. So, um, not ideal, but here's what we're going to do. I said I was going to bring the Scream Tail and do the, and go with Howl and stuff like that. So I'm not going to disappoint. We're going to do that. And then in the back, we're going to end up having Rillaboom. And we're also going to go with... Yeah, see, part of me wants to go with Urshifu. I think that might be the best one to go with. Um, Tornadus would be pretty good too. But a couple things kind of worry me about it. So let's go with Urshifu and let's let's call that a day. Uh, let's hope that uh, we actually get a pretty favorable matchup here to begin with. Uh, I would imagine they might start with... Um, maybe with Incineroar. That wouldn't be great, but we'll, we'll find a way around that. Obviously, we can protect through it. We can always Terrastalize if need be. Um... But it might be Sandy Shocks and Necrozma. On Necrozma and Sableye. Fair enough. My bad. Alright. Um. Not great that we're facing down a Steelmon. However. However. <laughs> um. Here's what we're going to do. I know they have fake out pressure. <coughs> Sorry, I know I didn't finish my thought, but that's because, I don't know, I don't really have a thought to finish. But we're going to go Sunsteel Strike over into Sableye. And let's go with the Howl on the first one. Yeah, there's the fake out. That's unfortunate. They're probably going to knock out Screamtail now. Either way, good to know that we're going to go first on these. Goodbye, Sableye. Wow. Some real good stuff right there. I appreciate that. Oh, they go Dragon Dance. Okay, now they're going to outspeed. However, here's the one positive that they did not take into account before doing that. Um, oh, they could go follow me, though. I'm going to assume that they don't. I'm going to assume that they don't. I'm going to go Psychic Fangs over there, and I'm going to go Encore into Necrozma. A smart call, too. I should have probably went Howl then. But at least they're encore into that, and they're not going to do anything else. They won't be able to go with the Spiky Shield. They won't be able to go with an IV Cudgel or anything like that. I know. See ya, buddy. Thank you for your sacrifice. Goodbye, Screamtail. That's okay, though. Again, you know what? We have them on Cordon to uh, follow me. That's a good thing. We did more than half on that. They're not going to be able to get away from that, which is good. Then we're also going to be able to bring in... Um, also be able to bring in Rillaboom here. We'll be able to go with a fake out over there to uh, be able to make them not move on this one. Um... Yeah, they're probably going to bring in... Uh... Okay, because... Okay, follow my logic here. Alright, so here's the thing. 
those are the three mons left, right? Two of them would be weak to uh, two of them would be weak to the Stone Edge. None of them would be weak to uh, Sunsteel Strike. And then what, what's our last move again? Uh, Psychic Fangs wouldn't really do much into any of them either. Uh, maybe Sandy Shocks. So I think because even though Psychic Fangs gets the stab, Stone Edge doesn't. Stone Edge is 15 power more, so I think even without the stab, with how much it did to Ogre Pond, if they don't swap out, it'll still end up KOing. And this will also kind of cover for a swap out too. So let's go for the Stone Edge over there, and let's go for the Fake Out and the Necrozma. There's the swap out. Who are you going to be? Please be Incineroar. Volcarona, even better. We'll get the Fake Out right here. That'll be perfect. They were going to go Protect anyways, and if we hit this, that's fine. That scared me for a second because it was a delay in animation from the text. Thought it was a miss on the Stone Edge. Thank you, we actually hit it, and Volcarona is gone. See ya, buddy. Thank you for coming. Uh, and now we just have to deal with Rillaboom and... Or not Rillaboom. We have to deal with Ogre Pond and Necrozma here. I think we can do this. They do have Terra, which is a little unfortunate, but we can still make this work. Um, we still have Terra too, though. That is a big positive here. Might be able to save that for Urshifu. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go Psychic Fangs over to Ogre Pond again. I wonder what their Terra would be. Either way, let's go for the high horsepower. Uh, we should survive this. Especially, uh, wait, no, we're not grassy seed. Oh, we still do, oh my gosh. Let's go. Huge survive, so the Leo was gonna survive that for sure. Psychic Fangs takes them out, that's perfect. And now this should do maybe about half, if we're lucky. If we're lucky. No. We are not lucky. Um, that's okay, though. It looks like they're only going to be able to hit one at a time. And again, we do have Urshifu in the back, and we are going to be fine with that. Um, I'm going to go for the Sunsteel Strike, though, because that's going to be our strongest move. And I'm going to go Woodhammer this time. Nope. Okay, cool. I was going to say, just in case, because they still had Terra... If they were going to go into a Terra, maybe that might be a better one to go into. Either way, though, we still end up picking up the victory. And in the battle of Sogaleo versus Necrozma, Sogaleo wins. Good game. Now, even though we didn't get a Howl off in any of those games, Sogaleo still showed its strength with that Life Orb, too. And we're doing some really good damage to Dendozo. We even did some pretty decent damage to Necrozma. Absolutely annihilated that Sableye. So again, Sogaleo with a 137 base attack stat is extremely good. And the 137 base HP stat means it has some really good bulk as well. That means you can kind of, I guess, I don't want to say spare some of your HP with that Life Orb, but it allows you to kind of spare some of your HP with that Life Orb. You're still going to be able to survive a lot of other hits, uh, and you're also going to still be able to do a lot of good damage. And being able to have great stab moves in Sunsteel Strike and Psychic Fangs, Sunsteel Strike, which actually ignores the abilities of the Pokemon you're hitting, and Psychic Fangs, which takes out all of the screens that might be up as well, are just really incredible. Stone Edge is a great coverage move as well, and as you saw into like that Volcarona, did a lot of damage as well. And then the Protect, just to make sure that you stay out there for a little bit longer too. If you do end up being able to get one of those Howls off with the Screamtail, again, Solgaleo is going to be even stronger, and that damage that you saw in these battles is going to be multiplied by, I guess, 50%, maybe 100% if you're able to get, you know, two Howls off. But either way, again, just shows that even though there, there might be some better legendaries out there and like Groudon, Maridon, uh, Calyrex, and even though we didn't go with the Sword Shield strat of putting the Weakness Policy on it to be able to double its attack, it still shows that it's a really strong Pokemon even with the Life Orb. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the battles. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you guys next time.